Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the Brave browser. So this is just going to be a audio over a screen capture today. You won't get to see uh, my face in this particular video, not that that really uh, matters. You guys are here for the content. So today I'm going to be setting up the Brave browser. I've not done it before. Um, primarily I use uh, Firefox really just because I've kind of started off with that and kind of stuck with it over time. So Firefox has been pretty much my daily driver or the browser that I always use. Sometimes I do use Chrome, uh, typically if uh, Firefox is not working or hangs up, or if I want to use particular types of Chrome apps, for example, with the hardware wallets, a lot of those uh, apps are Chrome-based apps. So between those two browsers is kind of how I normally uh, run my stuff. So a lot of you guys have been mentioning the Brave browser. Um, obviously, I'm aware of the features that are included, such as the ad blockers and things like that, and also the Brave, uh, the wallet kind of integration. So you guys have mentioned that too. So really in this video, I'm gonna kind of set it up on my uh, PC like I normally sort of would, and just share that experience with you and then share my sort of thoughts and opinions uh, when using the Brave browser. So let's get started. So I'll use my current browser first, which is uh, Firefox. And you can see I've already uh, logged into the, or sorry, gone to the Brave uh, website. So let's see what we need to do. I'm just gonna start with the big orange button and we'll download this. Obviously to our downloads folder and we can just run it from this um, shortcut up here. Um, I've already got Chrome uh, running, so what it might be a good idea to do is probably close uh, Chrome. Um, I'm aware that Brave runs a like a variant of Chromium, so it should be very similar experience to the Chrome browser. So at the moment, we're obviously just downloaded and um, installing the Brave browser. So that's, that's completed, okay. So I'm just gonna take this to uh, full screen. Nice color schemes. So Brave the new internet, let's go. I'm gonna quickly skim through this tour. Um, I'm not gonna import any bookmarks and settings at the moment, I'll probably do that at a later date. Uh, really because I wanna kind of keep this as a new, fresh, clean install um, separate from everything else. So uh, I'm going to skip that as well. Um, okay, so Brave Rewards. Um, this is something that I do want to um, enable. Uh, so obviously we get rewards as we browse um, certain websites and things like that. So we want to go through that process. So it says we can earn by re uh, viewing previously respecting adverts. So I'm going to go yes. So let's see what this uh, warrant uh, creation process is like. So I just see that it kind of switched the tab on there, which is like an auto contribution. Okay, so the uh, the most popular websites that you visit kind of get like an auto contribution. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that um, on uh, as it is. Yeah, yeah, on. Okay, you can see some extra details here. So we've got 30 baht. I guess I can change that. Okay, I'll just leave that as it is. And we've got no contributed sites. Um, okay, so you can also set it to tip individuals. Okay, no problem. Right, so on the right hand side we've got um, no tokens at the moment, so I will leave that as it is for the time being. If we add funds, just want to kind of see what the exchange process is like. Yeah, so we can send uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum or BAT tokens directly. So what I will do um, as a matter of fact, is I'm just gonna send a little bit of Ethereum to the browser. Uh, just wondering if it said anything regarding the, um, 
I was just wondering if it gets automatically converted or how the exchange process works. So if I send a little bit of Ethereum, does it automatically get converted to the BAT token or do I then have to exchange it afterwards? Um, okay, I'm gonna send a little bit of Ethereum and we'll see what happens. Okay, so just scanning that Ethereum QR code and I wanna send, I'm just gonna send over $10 the equivalent of Ethereum, which is 0 0.71 Ethereum. And we'll send that over. Okay, so I just did that with my phone. So yeah, I just wanted to see whether, um, yeah, it automatically gets converted or whether it stays as Ethereum in your in your Brave um, wallet. I'm not too sure how that works exactly. So, okay, so I think that is kind of the, the wallet basics. Obviously we've not done an awful lot there. But um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that everything else as it is. So let's go back to that main kind of menu. So I think that was the last part was that enable the uh, rewards process. So if we go to done. Okay, so this looks like our main um, home page. So that's a pretty pretty good looking desktop image. It's a it's certainly a nice um, starting point. So from here, um, let's just sort of. Um, go to a website that we would normally visit and just see how that, that looks. So if I go to a queer market cap, and I'll just type that into the uh, the address bar and just seeing how that looks in comparison. Okay, so you can see down the bottom we've got a cookie sort of warning notice. So I'm just gonna close that. And I can also notice that there's no, um, there's normally like quite a few ads on coin market cap. So you normally have like a big banner at the top there's one just above the title here, and one down the side, and then I think one down the bottom somewhere as well. So that's certainly a lot cleaner interface. In fact, actually, if I go back to Firefox, um, so yeah, you can see the difference between the two. Um, between Firefox, obviously, you've got a lot more banner ads all over the place, and it's much cleaner on the Brave uh, browser. So also on the Brave browser, just at the right hand side of the title bar, there's a little notification there. So I'm just gonna see what uh, this does or says. So it's got the Brave Shield has access to this site. Okay, so you can configure and change different aspects of your uh, browsing. So it says Shields up for this site. I guess you can disable it individually for individual sites if you wish, or have it on permanently. So it's blocked um, for ads and trackers. Just see if it says a little bit more information. Yeah, so it just blocks various um, adverts and trackers. So I guess you can customize this for each individual site or, or just a, a general blocking type thing. Okay, so I just wanted to have a look and see how that was. Um, obviously, YouTube is uh, where you guys will be watching this. So I just wanna see what that experience is like if I just go directly to one of my videos. Hey guys, it's Lee here and welcome to iMindBlocks. So it loaded up fine, it looks really pretty much the same. If I just go to the kind of the home page, let's take a look at Unbox Therapy. So I made that video recently about the Apple AirPods. They came back into my... Okay, so there's no advert at the start of that either. Um, and normally, um, I guess they would be for Unbox uh, Therapy. Let me just see if there's enough uh, thing that would almost definitely have like an ad or pre-roll or something. So... Uh... <laughs> Blocker does seem to be working um, very well. Let's just take a look at Bitcoin Talk. I just want to see how these um, sites kind of like you know load up and how they look. So the loading time and stuff seems to be really fast. They do seem to be loading very quickly, so that's all good. Let's take a look at this um, kind of wallet integration and rewards part. So if we Oh, okay, so we just open that new tab and that kind of effectively has our home screen. So now we know, and these are the websites that we previously visited. Yep. So one of the guys in the comments mentioned about um, kind of linking this to my YouTube channel so that if you, any of you guys um, obviously use the Brave browser, um, you could either contribute to the channel or also just like tip and um, have earnings yourself. So I'm just wondering how exactly that works. So I just wanna add in a little extra in here uh, regarding the Brave Wallet and also the publisher um, settings, linking it to your YouTube or your social channels, etc. 
So originally I didn't have any balance. It took um, roughly about 30 minutes or something to get that balance updated. So this is what I sent. I sent um, $10 in Ethereum and it was automatically exchanged. So now that's uh, just over 50 in the basic attention token. So that just shows you your wallet uh, funds there. Also, if I just go back to that previous sort of um, tab, um, to access your wallet, if you just hit this uh, button up on here, you can see your wallet settings uh, there. You can also use this kind of main interface from here to send tips and uh, all of that kind of business. So the publisher settings, um, there was a little bit of faffing about to get it done, but I did sort of work out how to do it eventually. So you go to uh, publishers.basicattentiontoken.org. From here, you then need to link your um, Uphold wallet account. So that is basically the wallet that is, works behind the scenes and controls the, uh, the BAT token. Um, so you need to link it with that. I needed to add my email address, um, a few um, personal details, and then I also needed to get verified for the enhanced um, ID. Um, I needed to do that before I could link my um, YouTube channel and then claim those rewards. So I had to end, um, add my email, personal details, and also photo ID so I could access those um, rewards. So from the uh, Uphold account, so this is this, uh, kind of a secondary kind of wallet or the wallet that controls the Brave wallet in your browser. You can also notice there is a, a separate BAT wallet in this, so don't get the two um, confused. So now from there, I've already linked that to my uh, YouTube channel. If I go back to this uh, Brave Award, sorry, down the bottom here, you can see that I've linked my YouTube uh, channel down there. Um, and it also appears that I've got some pending power, so I guess where you guys have already used the Brave uh, browser, um, so I guess this is um, kind of the amounts that have occurred over time uh, before, I, before I've used this uh, myself. Uh, so if I take a look at my YouTube uh, channel now, you can see that I have the option. And uh, so from here, this is what it would look like for you guys. So it shows you that it's currently not yet verified. Apparently it takes 24 for 48 hours for that to go through. But once that's done, then you can kind of auto contribute or you can send tips or whatever you like. Um, obviously, as you guys see fit, the same also applies for um, my YouTube, uh, sorry, my Twitter uh, feed as well. So I just wanted to cover those extra tidbits regarding the publisher settings and um, the wallet settings. Um, okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it here. So this is really kind of a, an overview or introduction to the Brave browser. Um, I really would have liked to show you a bit more with it, but there's obviously quite a bit more I need to learn myself before I can share it with you guys. So I'll just treat this as a introductory um, type video. Um, I'll do a bit more experimentation with it and um, as I learn more about it and get more familiar with it, um, I'll share those experiences with you. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.